We praise God. We bless his holy name. Worship the name of Jesus. Praise God, brethren. Worship the Lord, man. Give him thanks for this week. Give him thanks for this morning. Praise his holy name. Give him thanks for the worship. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. But around the Bible tells us that praise is comely to the upright. Yeah. So worship should be something that if we are upright, something that we enjoy doing deacon. It's something that just flows out of us, my brother. We praise his holy name. We magnify the name of Jesus. We praise his holy name. The psalmist also said that we should praise ye the Lord in his sanctuary. Is this God's sanctuary? Give God some praise. So we praise him from the, the harp, psaltery and the harp, the, the high sounding symbol and, and the low sounding symbol. We praise his name. So if you have some hands, clap and worship God. If you have some feet, stand and worship God. If you have mouth, open your mouth and worship God. Bless his holy name. Worship his holy name. Magnify his holy name. Because God is worthy to be praised in his house. We bless God. I greet you all in the high and exalted name of Jesus Christ. Our soon coming king. There is no other name in heaven and in earth that I can greet you. Because there is no other name by which mortal men can be saved. We praise his holy name. We bless God. Praise his holy name. God has truly been good to us. The Lord had remembered us, deacon, in his visitation last week. We praise his name. Somebody worship God. We know that our God is not a forgetful God. And so sometimes, Sister Sophie, when we're sitting and we're waiting and we're wondering, Brother Taylor, when will deliverance come? Did, did God forget the promise that he said he was going to give us? We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. Magnify the name of Jesus. And so I thank the God of heaven that he not have amnesia, Sister Campbell. He not wake up this morning and forget you, Sister Nikki. Because if God forget you, you can't wake up. If God forget you, everything go haywire. You went to bed last night, full strength, mental capacity is working at 100%. And then this morning I get up and you're a vegetable. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Somebody magnify the name of Jesus. So the songwriter says, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Thank God for remembering me. Thank God for thinking of me in the first place. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. There is one scripture that says that he knows the, 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 the plan that he thinks towards you. Praise his holy name. So Christ has already ordained a, a passage and he has already charted the way that we should walk. We praise his holy name. So when you get upon a roadblock, don't think that he's just going to leave you there and forsake you. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. Somebody worship God. And so we have a very powerful reading in front of us coming from the book of Exodus but brethren we know that it never starts here sir. praise his holy name praise his holy name there was a time when 
humanity and God was in harmony, Brother Roach. There was a time when God would come down in the cool of the day and check man. When everything was okay. When the relationship was good. But man take it upon themselves to gain their own wisdom. And got enticed. And when they did that, that harmony between God and man was severed. That day God promised humanity a plan of redemption. We praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. And so he told the serpent that between thee and the seed of the woman, there's going to be enmity. There's going to be a friction. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. And so there was a promised seed that was to come. But mankind wasn't so much filled and folly. Now when you read a little further down, the Bible tells us that when God looked down and saw the condition of mankind, every imagination of the thought of their heart was only evil continually. Praise his holy name. And God looked down on man and the Bible said that it repented God that he made man. God grieved and was sorry that he made man. And so he designed the flood to come and wipe out. But he remembered the promise that he made. And the Bible says that even though he looked to destroy the whole earth, Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Praise his holy name. But sin continued. The situation never remedied. And so God had to set up now the real lineage. And so a promise was made to a man called Abraham. And he said, come out from among your people. We're going to show you a better land, a better promise. We praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Somebody worship God. And so the man sojourned, packed up his things, and headed out. But God visited him again. And he said, your seed shall be strangers and sojourners in a land. We don't belong to them. They're going to be afflicted. Praise his holy name. They're going to suffer. Praise his holy name. But I, God, I'm going to deliver them. I'm going to bless them. We praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. So God was then again making another promise. Which leads us to the scripture. Where now they are down in Egypt. And the writer reminds us that a pharaoh, a leader rose up and knew not the works of Joseph. Now I want you to think and imagine for a second. You have a man that come and save your entire nation from famine and destruction. And as soon as the predecessor gone, you disregard the good work that he did. You disregard the, the blessing that he brought to your nation. To your history. Praise his holy name. And you turn on the people of God because you said, No man, only oh, woman here breed so much. Only oh, man have so much children. Them that 70 come in, but this number here is it, it's too great. We praise his holy name. And so because they had the military advantage, they said, we're going to put these people to work. Yeah. We praise his holy name. Amen. We bless God. Amen. But while they were there, being whipped, being burdened, being mistreated, 
God still multiplied Israel because a promise was made to Abraham that his seed was going to be like the stars of heaven and like the sand on the seashore. We bless his holy name. So no matter what the adversary was doing, he could not compromise the promise of God. Bless his holy name, Sister Sophie. It come out of his mouth. So once it leaves his vocal cords, Brother Jaden, something must be accomplished. So now Israel, they get lost in Egypt. Because the Bible tells us that after they get out in a the preacher, them their, their mindset was still towards the, the lifestyle. So, so after being there for so long, after bondage and all these different things, there was still this, this, this engraved idolatry. They, they, most of them had forgotten God, but there was still a few down there that was crying. Say, God, we hear say, Father Abraham, get a promise, but why are we down here suffering? Why we don't hear crying? Why we, we don't hear feeling such abuse? If we are your people, God deliver us. We praise his holy name. But there was a certain timeline that had to be fulfilled, Brother Taylor, before God could set up the deliverance for Egypt, for Israel. We praise his holy name. Sometimes we try to force God to work in our timeline. But God has a timeline that is set and ready for his people. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. Magnify his holy name. Sister Campbell, we have a seven year plan. You know? When God have a 14 year plan. Preacher. Preacher, Jacob loved Rachel. You know? And the man said, Yo, I'm going to work for you. you know? Seven years. I'm done, you give her to me. And when the man get tricked, wake up and recognize that it was the wrong sister. <sighs> All right, you are double it. The man said, I love her still, so I'm going to do it. We praise his holy name. Sometimes we have our own plan. And because we have our plan, preacher, we don't give God any room to, to move. We don't give God any, any room to, to make some adjustments in our lives and to, to fit us up for the blessing of God. We praise his holy name, but we take unto ourselves our own damnation. Because Jacob would have overlooked Leah. But it was through her, Sister Campbell, that the seed of God was supposed to come. Praise his holy name. So while he had a seven-year plan, God had more years to add to that. Praise his holy name because he remembered the promise that he made. We praise his holy name. The words came out of his mouth so it could not return void. We bless his holy name. And so now the children of Israel are in the same predicament. They must say, God, we are feeling whipping. Do something for us. We praise his holy name. But Moses had to be born. Praise his holy name. Moses had to kill a man. Moses had to run out of Egypt. And the comfort and the lifestyle and the, and all the sorcery and all the all the different gusu and obia that was down there to meet God at the burning bush. Somebody praise the Lord. Worship his holy name. Somebody praise his name. At the burning bush, the man see a sight. You know, you know, makes sense, Brother Fraser, because the fire that we're used to, if you set this ablaze, everything's supposed to burn down. Somebody bless God. Everything's supposed to turn ash, preacher. 
But the sight that he saw was, was a different kind of feeling, a, a different kind of visualization. When he, when he walked up to it, he said, there is something different. I, I got to know what's going on over there. Amen. And the word said, so when he draw nigh unto God, man say, yo, take off your shoes. Praise his holy name. Somebody bless God. Somebody praise his name. Praise his holy name. God remembers our affliction. But we have to make sure we're at the point where he can visit us. He remembers the pain and the struggles that we're going through. But we have to position ourselves to hear something from him. Sometimes we continue to run around in circles because we not stop and listen. Somebody praise the Lord. Worship the Lord church. Somebody praise his holy name. Magnify the name of Jesus. If Moses was still in Egypt, he wouldn't see the bush burning. If Moses decided, hey, I'm not going to shepherd no other man sheep, he wouldn't see the bush burning. We praise his holy name, but he had to follow the leading of the Lord. We praise his holy name and take the work where God gave him. It seemed low to be coming out of Egypt, coming off a of Pharaoh's table, eating of the, of the choice meal to go serve a next man sheep. But that was the will of God for his life at that time. We praise his name. We get too comfortable on top of the mountain when God wants to talk to us in the valley. We get too comfortable behind our sealed houses when God wants us at the altar praying, crying out for him. We praise his holy name. We don't spend any time in his words for God to talk back to us. And so we just keep opening, opening, opening up our mouths. God, I want, I want, I want. But God, what do you want? The Lord remember us. But what are we sub submitting ourselves for the Lord to do what he wants to do in our lives? We praise his name. Somebody worship God. Praise his holy name. God is not a forgetful God. Praise his name. The word reminds us that at the appointed time, and the, and the, the, the self CMD, it said that Israel was delivered out of Egypt. You know? God had promised them a deadline for their suffering. God had promised them a deadline for their anguish and their pain. We praise his holy name. They couldn't leave a day before. They couldn't leave a day after. But the self see dear. Praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. God is waiting on you to just follow the process. Trust the process. Right now you're being abused and beaten. But you're not recognizing that in the meantime, God is multiplying the blessing. We praise his holy name. Right now all you're seeing is the affliction and the bruises. But your children are being blessed. There is food on your table. And there is shoes on your feet. We bless his holy name. We magnify his holy name. You have a roof over your head. Magnify his holy name. And so we're focused on the one thing we got no release to yet. We're looking and we, we, we get obsessive about the small thing that God no, 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 no free us from yet. When there is so many other blessings that he wants us to open our mouth and worship. Bless his holy name. Praise his holy name. Brethren, we have clothes and food. Give God praise. Your children are safe. Give God praise. You're in the right mind. Give God praise. We focus on the minute things too much. And God wants to deliver you. But, but, but our minds are not at the place where deliverance is going to be beneficial. You know, things that God knows say the children of Israel want food for eat. But they style the manna preacher. 
They style the man and they say, this man, we are eating morning, noon, and night. And when God threw a wheel upon them, they name it in the sick. God remembers your affliction. God knows where you go through. But give God praise for what you have. Bless him for the goodness that he have now for you. So when the better come, you're going through the process of how to take care of it. People want to house preacher and they don't know how to take care of house. You want to care, you don't know responsibility for care. God knows the needs that you have. He knows the desire that you have. But you have to learn to process these things. You have to learn to process these things. Somebody praise God. Praise his holy name. The Bible speaks about a young man named Cornelius. He praise his holy name. Deacon, he was a good man. Praise his holy name. A devout man. The Bible says that he, he gives his arms and he prays our way. He's a good man. Good heart. Good desire. But there was still something missing. Somebody praise the Lord. Worship the Lord, church. Good deeds don't save you. Being a kind person does not save you. Moral goodness is not what gets you into the kingdom. We praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. The Bible tells us that by faith are we saved through grace. We praise his holy name. Not of works that any man should boast. But I don't want to stop there because the verse is down. I think it's the verse 10. It says, no, the Lord had ordained works for you to do. We praise his holy name. So you can't just stop a fate neither. Because fate without work is dead. We praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. But when you come to God, there is an ordained line that you must walk. There is a sequence of things that you must accomplish through God for it to count as good works and labors of love. So all these people say, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. That's not it. All the people them that is giving all their money and all these things. That's not it. Because if you're not giving it to Jesus... That's his vanity and vain. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. The Bible also speaks about the man that was on the cross. Now, let us not get it twisted. Don't live anky panky. And then on your deathbed, you're crying out to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise him. You come and you hear the word, Brother Roach. The Spirit of the Lord is convicting you and talking. You change your life. Repent now. But you say, boy, I'm still young. I still got time, Vanji. Praise his name. And we run around and we say, we still have time. We still have time. Until mercy door is shut. At the time when God remembered you, did you remember God? At the time when God was calling to you, did you answer the Lord? It says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. There's going to be a time when you're going to be calling and he's going to laugh at your calamity. He's going to mock when your fear comes. Because when he was opening his arms to you, you reject him. You tell him that I don't want him. I prefer the little bono no no so me have a yard. I prefer the little kid who me where, where come out of my womb in better than you, Jesus. The little job where pay me twenty five dollars an hour, me I sell you out for that. We praise His holy name. We praise His holy name. Me want look good on road, so we put on my little fandangles them because me a hot girl and me a chacha boy. So me sell out God for, for looks and pride. But God, God 
is remembering you right now. The fact that you're hearing this is an opportunity for you to turn and change. We praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. The fact that you're not in the grave. Every week we walk past the cemetery. And there's a blue tent. Or a burgundy tent. But somebody is going down. They've drawn their last breath. Their families are coming to say their farewells. But you are on the land of the living. You can repent. You can change. You can turn to God now. We praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. We praise his holy name. So today if you hear God's voice, harden not your heart. Because the Bible tells us that the Israelites, they hear God's voice multiple times. You know? But they harden a preacher. And they provoke God again and again and again. And God said these ten times... I deliver you, but you keep provoking. Every time you call me, I remember you, but you go back to the same thing. We praise his holy name. We bless his holy name. So now it's time to walk. Now it's time to die. Now it's time to suffer because you keep provoking. You keep going backwards. There is no progress forward. Let me tell you something. We're not doing God any favors. We're not help God in no way, shape, or form. What God do is for us. There's nothing that we can do to offer God that can repay for the sacrifice that he made. So the little we ask for, the Bible says it's as filthy rags. The best we can do is just a reasonable service. Just enough for him to just say, all right, I'll take it. And even the bare minimum, we, we refuse and we scan our face before God. Somebody praise his name. Somebody worship God. It's time for us to get serious with God. Because the next time God remember earth, it's not going to be with water. It's not going to be with flood. After the death and the decay, the land stink. Because of the deadness that was going on. Everything was killed off. Praise his holy name. But the next time God remembers earth, it will be with fire. Not the fire that was on the bush. It's not going to tickle your preacher. It's not, not going to cleanse you at that time. Now is the time for cleansing. Now is the time to get that fire. Now is the time to be curious and run into God. But at that time, it's judgment time. That time is the finality of things. That time, all things will be put under subjection to God. And don't let him remember you on the wrong side. God bless you in Jesus' name.